Peeps, we are back, and we are back today, actually, to talk about Funko Pops. So, our last video was one of our Destination Geek series, if you're new to the channel. In our Destination Geek series, what we do is we go to different uh, theme parks, geek events, things like that. Um, so, I was really excited to be able to show you guys a behind-the-scenes of the new Busch Gardens ride, Battle for Ire. Uh, hopefully, you guys got a kick out of that. Um, and today we're back with kind of more of our merchandise videos. And so today is March 1st. Yesterday, Funko, you guys know I'm a big Funko guy. Um, you can see some of them behind me, maybe. Um, so Funko announced their huge Avengers Infinity War line of products. And amongst their, um, announcements, they announced things like, uh, t-shirts, they announced plushies, they announced mystery minis and that have exclusives at all sorts of different stores, uh, they announced dorbs, and they announced uh, pop keychains, and finally, my favorite, they announced actual Funko Pops. And uh, so they announced 19 Funko Pops in this original announcement, or I should say initial announcement, including exclusives at different stores all very cool stuff. Now, when it comes to Funko Pops, I don't collect everything. I just collect the ones that I'm really interested in. So I'm not interested in all of the Infinity War Pops, all 19 of them. I'm only interested in certain ones. So let me tell you guys the ones that I'm going to be hunting for. So the ones that I'm going to be hunting for are the Iron Spider. I really like the design of that one, including the common one, as well as the Iron Spider Box Lunch exclusive, where he doesn't have a mask on. I'm also interested in the Captain America one, because I really kind of like the look of the bearded Captain America. Of course, I want Thanos, because Thanos is one of my favorite comic book villains. And I also want... All of the Black Order, the Black Order being Thanos' uh, minions in the new Infinity War movie, they are some of my favorite villains in comic books. So uh, the fact that they're going to be in a movie is super exciting. Um, and that includes Corvus Glaive, who's a common, Ebony Maw, who's also a common, and Proxima Midnight, who is another common. Um, I'm also interested in the... And actually, there's another one who is an exclusive to Walgreens, um, and that character is Cull Obsidian. He's only available at Walgreens. Hopefully I'll be able to pick him up. And I'm also interested in the 6-inch Hulkbuster, uh, which is uh, not an exclusive, and also the 10-inch Thanos, which is a uh, Target exclusive that'll be really hard to find at first. And then, magically, there'll just be a ton on the shelf that no one buys. That's just how it seems to work with Target exclusives. So, um, with that in mind, uh, like I said... March 1st, Emerald City Comic Con in full swing. Um, there are tons of uh, exclusives all throughout the stores. There's a couple that I'm interested in, not really a ton of them. Um, I was able to get the She-Hulk uh, Emerald City Comic Con shared exclusive at Toys R Us the other day. They put it out early. Um, this morning, I ordered the Padme Amidala one already um, ordered that from GameStop, so I didn't have to worry about hunting for it because I had to work today. So, let's check out the hunt that I went on today because I had heard that Avengers Infinity War Pops were being put out on shelves today. Peeps, today is March 1st, which is actually the first day of Emerald City Comic Con, and even though I'm not actually looking for Emerald City Comic Con, I am on the hunt for Avengers Infinity War toys, Funko Pops and all sorts of stuff because apparently they've been putting them on shelves already. So we're going to check out GameStop first.
poopies are on sale. He comes with a little baby poopy right there. I have no idea what these are. Actually, I swung by Walgreens to check out if they had the Walgreens exclusive Cull Obsidian Pop, and they don't. They've got like these pops here, but they've got these Avengers Infinity Wars mini mates out. Uh, Iron Man and Thanos with Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, looks like there's Spider Man and Hulk, Doctor Strange and Thor, and what's that? Star Lord and Proxima Midnight. I'm not really uh, a fan of mini mates, but if you are, uh, they have them at Walgreens. All right, we're back, and I want to show you guys the cool stuff that I picked up today. Um, so you saw that GameStop had a ton of stuff. Um, and it's funny, so I went to that GameStop around lunchtime, like around 11.30ish, and I went to another GameStop after work around 4.30ish, 5ish, and um, the one I went to after work told me that they put the stuff on the shelf and they were told to take it down until Saturday. So I don't know if that's the case everywhere, it's most likely that most of the stuff has already been sold um, to guys like me. But let me show you guys what I picked up. So I've got the bag here. Start with Thanos himself. Um, I picked up Thanos. Uh, try to get it so that you don't have a glare there or a blurry Thanos. So this is Thanos. Um, you can see the Infinity Gauntlet on his hand. Um, really excited about the, the sculpt of this one. It's different. You can see he doesn't have a helmet. Um, so it's kind of different some of the Thanoses that have been seen before and the Thanos that we get in comic books. Uh, so, here is Thanos. Alright, who's next? Well, let me show you guys the big one. I picked up the Hulkbuster. Um, so I have the Hulkbuster that came in the first um, Marvel Collector Core box from a couple years back. Uh, it's really cool. This one is a different design. Uh, I don't know which one I like more. Actually, looking at them, I kind of like this one more. It's a bit more stylized, a bit cool look, more cool looking, I think. Um, I think a lot of folks like the original one better. But this one is nice and hefty. And so here is the Hulkbuster, which in the movie, um, supposedly driven by Bruce Banner, controlled by Bruce Banner. We'll see. All right, here is one of Thanos' Black Order, Proxima Midnight. And so, again, she's one of Thanos' minions. Not really seen much of her in trailers, very little, in fact. But there she is. Pretty cool. All right, what else, what else, what else? I kind of went crazy. I picked up, uh, all, <laughs> they had all of the commons. Um, so actually, before I show you the rest, I did not pick up Iron Spider, even though you saw that they had it there, because the boxes were, like, super damaged. Uh, and since he's common, I figure I won't have much of a problem picking him up at an, a later date. So I'm going to keep an eye out for him this weekend. So here is Ebony Maw, another one of Thanos' minions of the Black Order. And... Continuing on the Black Order, Corvus Glaive. He is one of, um, and I know I keep saying this, but he is definitely, uh, I think, my favorite of the Black Order in the comic books, as written by Jonathan Hickman. So, if you're interested in learning more about characters like Corvus Glaive and Ebony Maw and Proxima Midnight and Cull Obsidian, I really recommend checking out, there's a, a Marvel... Uh, book. You can buy it digitally on Amazon or Comixology or you can buy it at Barnes & Noble or any store. Uh, it's called Infinity, not Infinity Gauntlet, which is still a great story, but Infinity, which is a more recent story that introduces all of these characters from the Black Order. Um, I think uh, it's one of my, uh, one of the best Thanos stories. Uh, it's really hefty book, totally worth the read. And I'm sure a lot of this movie will borrow from that storyline. All right, two more to go. Captain America, bearded Captain America. Look at that. How cool is that? Um, I hadn't intended on getting Captain America necessarily. I mean, I liked him, uh, but once I was in store, I really liked the design of him. I really liked the beard and and just the 
the way his costume looks. Um, so I had to pick him up. So glad I picked him up. And last but not least, another one that I hadn't originally intended on picking up, uh, but did once I saw him in that in action or in person. Iron Man. Um, you can kind of see he's like flying and he's got his hand open to to shoot. Really, really dig the look of that one. So that's what I picked up today. Um, all Funko Pop related. I'm also really interested in picking up there is a Walmart exclusive Thanos Marvel Legends that I really, really want. Um, really excited about that one. And there is a Marvel Legends uh, Infinity Gauntlet Glove. Uh, that looks amazing. Uh, I think the suggested retail price of that one is like a hundred bucks, but I think Walmart has it for 88, so I'm hoping to get it at Walmart so I can pay the cheaper price. But I really want that one. So, what did you guys get uh, today on your East uh, Emerald City Comic Con hunts or, or your Infinity War hunts? Obviously, as we get more stuff, we'll have more videos. I'm going to go out. Uh, hunting this weekend trying to get some of the rest of the stuff that I want so make sure you guys tune in for that video make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button down below uh, and thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time